drown them out at night with my TV. Hi guys, so I have now finished university. I finished my third year of university and I definitely want to make a video about my experience because I feel like I have a lot to tell. However, today's video is not about that. Today's video is about trying bikinis from eBay. I thought this would be a good video to make just because I find bikinis from eBay to be such a hit or miss. Some of the bikinis you get are such premium quality and all of these bikinis here are very affordable, they're all under £10, most of them are around £6 mark. However, some of the other ones are absolute trash. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to do a good one, a bad one, a really good one, a really bad one. I'm going to start with the one that I wasn't so sure about buying, but when I got these, I was so, so impressed. I have nothing bad to say about this bikini and I actually absolutely love it. So the top looks like this, it's very flowy and looks a bit like a crop top. I have a few crop tops in this exact style, however the material is different. This is a swimsuit material and then it has another layer at the bottom which is just an elasticated kind of like a bundle style bikini. The material on this is perfect, it's not a cheap material, it doesn't feel cheap, it actually feels very nice, not see-through whatsoever. It's also padded, which is quite a big deal for me. I hate bikinis that are not padded and this definitely has nice padding to it, which is awesome. I know a lot of people love padding. Also, this has adjustable straps, not like a plastic adjustable strap that you could get from Primark, for example. These are metal, so they seem a lot more sturdy and the bottoms look like this. So they are high-waisted and they are in this navy color. However, you can get this bikini in a different color. I think they have about four different styles. If you don't like floral prints, for example, they have some plain colorful ones. And yeah, I'm very, very impressed with the quality of this, right? So you can actually tell what I mean by the quality vary from bikini to bikini that you buy on eBay. I'm going to now show you this pair. And this, when I got in the mail, I was actually quite shocked about. First of all, the material is very thin and very see-through. I don't know if you can tell on camera, I hope you can, but this is so, so see-through. Secondly, there's no padding, no nothing. If I saw this in Poundland for a pound, I would never pick up this bikini. Same with the bottoms, threads everywhere not finished, it hasn't been sewn properly, very see-through. What is this material even about? I would never ever wear this bikini in public. I will try to insert a cutaway with me wearing this swimsuit, however I'm not sure if I'll be able to because if it looks as see-through on camera as it does in real life, I'm obviously not going to insert it. I know this is absolute trash and this was a bit cheaper I guess, so you could say what were you expecting? But still, you can go to Primark and buy a bikini top for £2 and a bikini bottom for £2 and the quality will be so much better on the Primark bikini than it is on this. I just feel like it's a bit unacceptable to be selling something like this online. I really hated it, so I thought I would warn you guys. Oh yeah, this also reminds me, I feel like I was scammed with this bikini because online it's labeled as a push-up bikini. On what planet is this a push-up bikini? I was personally incredibly disappointed with this. Now for something really lovely again. This swimsuit is stunning. It looks like this. It's a one set, but it has a mesh panel on the side. It has straps and usually with cheap bikinis, you could kind of tell that the mesh is a bit cheap. Perhaps some threads would be coming off it, but with this, nothing. 
The quality of this is perfect. Again, a very premium material. It has beautiful padding. The padding is perfect on this. You have a padding that's a bit thicker at the bottom and thinner at the top, which I love. I feel like your boobs look really nice in this swimsuit. I love the colors. I feel like it's definitely slimming as well because it has this mesh detail on the side, which gives an optical illusion of being a bit slimmer. And just like this at the bottom, this is perfect. I bought mine in UK 6 and I would be careful. I'm 5 foot 6 and if I was any taller, I feel like this wouldn't fit. It is slightly short, but not too bad. I can still definitely wear it. If you are any taller than 5 foot 6, I would say definitely go for at least size 8. Don't go for size 6. But I'm really happy with this. I'm definitely going to get some wear out of this and I absolutely would 100% recommend this one. This is what I got for this next one. A supposedly a push-up bikini. I don't know how this can be possibly considered as a push-up bikini. So I mean I love sequins. I think it's such a beautiful sequence, a beautiful color, but the quality of this bikini is not so great. And this was same price or very similar as the two other bikinis that I showed you before. I'm very, very unlikely to wear this out in public. I was literally given this piece of material, which is supposed to be a bikini bottom, which is which doesn't cover much, first of all, but I know some people may like it. I prefer my bikini to cover a bit more, so I feel more comfortable in it. And then you also get given this. So I'm going to try to do this myself and try it on for you. Also the little hoop, it's not like aligned. So I feel like if I would wear this, I would run on a high risk of actually uh, flashing and flashing my bottom part, which I feel like is even worse than flashing your top part. This hoop is not lined properly. The quality is just awful. Yeah, I would not risk wearing this out in public personally. Plus there's no padding. It was meant to be a push-up bra. However, the tool set bikini, which I actually really like and I'm so excited to be wearing. This was about £5.98, so £6. And I just think this is very cute. So that's how the top looks. I love the color, I love the polka dots. And then you can adjust how tight or how loose you want it, which I think is essential with bikinis like this, just because there are no straps. I love the color, I think the color is very eye-catching. It's a navy color but kind of leaning towards a royal blue so it's a beautiful beautiful color nice cut very nice material i could definitely see a bikini like that in river island and that's how the bottoms look so kind of the same style i mean you could argue that there are little threads here but that's not really a big deal because in this case I can just easily cut them, they're only a couple. It's not something like the, the other blue bikini that I showed you that was literally like just not finished. This one is very, very nice. Topshop would definitely sell a bikini like this as well and definitely worth it for the price. And then lastly, this was labeled as a bikini. However, I feel like I would wear it more as a bodysuit. I guess you could wear this as both. You could wear this on nights out as a bodysuit or a bikini. However, the design of this is not great. I want to try to make it work because I think this can actually look quite nice if you wear it right, but I don't know. I will have to figure it out. So basically this looks like that. So this has roses, some mesh, and then kind of high-waisted burgundy shorts. And this comes together, ties at the neck like this. I think for my cutaway I'm just going to wear a nude bra and then wear this on top. Basically the idea of this is to, to have roses on your nipples to cover your nipples. Now the problem is this is just way too long. This part is way too long to the point I don't feel like many people, I don't feel like many body shapes. I'm quite tall anyway. There's not a chance this is anywhere close to my nipples. This is way higher than my nipples. So I don't see how tall you would have to be to be able to wear this. Because if you try to put it on your nipples, this part would just crinkle and because it's too long, it just wouldn't work. The way I want to try to make it work is by 
possibly buying a nude bikini so I don't know I will see how it looks again see if I like it see if I'm ever going to wear it I think I probably will because I do kind of like the style I just wish the design was a bit better so much better to have this bit short and them for them to be like here kind of but yeah I thought I would just mention this just in case because on the website it does look like your nipples would be covered by the roses and in person that's probably not going to be the case. So I just thought I would mention that. Right guys, so that will be the end for today's video. However, I can definitely make a part two. Give this video a like and a comment if you would like me to make a part two of this video because I have bought more than just these six bikinis from eBay. So if you would like me to try on some more and tell you all the good ones and the bad ones, then like this video and leave a comment and I'll make sure to make a part two very soon. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you didn't, please like it and subscribe to me if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye!